It was 476 days from the last time Stetson had stepped onto the football field. They come out with the loss today, but not for a lack of effort on the part of the Hatters, especially late in this game. 19-point lead for Davidson at one point. And Stetson would cut it to six by the end. But the Davidson offense proved to be too much. Three touchdowns in the first three possessions in the second half, and a tremendous day by Tyler Phillips, almost 200 yards in total offense as Davidson comes away with the conference opening. Wide game. receivers on each side again for Piccarilli. He wants the end zone. He's got it now. Touchdown, Hatters. Mason Broach. We haven't called his name all game, but we are now. That's what happens when he scores a touchdown. Who we are, you know, and, and I actually thought our defense played pretty well with the exception of a couple plays. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, offensively, we, we, you can't turn the ball over, bottom line. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm anxious to see the film on a couple plays, and I think uh, had we had replay, it might have been gone a different way. But, <laughs> but, you know, the other thing is we lost our poise with about eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And, when they scored their final touchdown, we started we started to lose a bit. And and to our kids' credit, they battled back and showed a lot of character. And I, you know, we we've been had this whole thing in the fall camp about the score takes care of itself. Belt book by Bill Walsh and talk about a standard of performance. And the score doesn't matter. It'll be good at the end if we do what we're supposed to do. And I thought our team for the last six minutes of the game actually did that. I thought Brady kicked a great onside kick, the second one, and we had chances to get it. And if we get it, I'm telling you, I think we're going to score. So, mm -hmm. again, proud of our effort, not happy with how we played. Uh, we knew there would be a learning curve. Um, it's been 447 days, I think, since our last game, and, and not an excuse, we've got to play this. But if the old cliche that a team gets improves the most between the first and the second game, you know, hopefully we'll be able to play better and, and uh, you know, go to Moorhead and hopefully. Um, have an opportunity to play. Yeah, and, and again, the worst thing you can do is have a quarterback that tries to do too much. And it was Pick's first start, mm -hmm. and he was putting a lot of pressure on himself. And I thought what he did do is he he tried to do a, too, a few too many things. And at the latter part of the second half, or the latter part of the first half, he calmed down and just took it right down. And really, we were moving it until we turned it over there for the second time. And I, again, can't turn the ball over against great teams like that, and uh, but but I thought I thought the latter part of the game was great for our whole team, and especially offensively because basically we just said, hey, score doesn't matter, we're just going to play and try to score, and if we score, we'll try to get it back, and if we get it back, we'll try to score again, and really it, that's football. I thought it was an incompletion. I didn't see the ball actually bounce off, but yeah, it bounced off uh, off Jalen, um, and so I mean, and I thought our defense played great; they held them you know, scoreless. There and played and really defended it, and I thought our defense defended. You know, our whole goal was to make a kick field goals in the red zone, and you know, early in the game we did that, and gave us a chance to stay in the game. He landed on top of a player. Generally, you're down, but he hadn't touched the ground yet. It looked like a replay, so you still got to hang on the football, and you gotta, there, there can't be any laps of that. And it's different in the game when guys are grabbing at it all the time. Uh, that isn't practice, and so uh, you know, want to learn from that and uh, be better tomorrow. Well, and again, we have a new snapper, a new holder, and a new kicker all together. And the first one, I'm not sure our left wing blocked the way he should have. It was probably slow getting off. Even though our time on the sidelines had it a 118, if you're, if you're at 1 2 or less, it's pretty good. But it just seemed to, like it came off a little slow. We'll, we'll see it again tomorrow. Now, after that, he came and did pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's encouraging. And I thought, I thought Brady did a great job kicking the ball off and also on the outside. So, there were some question marks at those two positions because that's their first start too. So, and I thought Matt Clemens had a really good day punting overall. So there are a lot of bright spots, and as I told the team afterwards, you know, I'm encouraged by what I see. And if if we all dedicate ourselves to what we our motto is, get better every day and make someone else better, you know, and take care of the take care of the little things, you know, I think we have a chance to be pretty good. I thought so too, and I thought he did the whole play pretty well too. And I thought, you know, what, what you don't see up front is I, our, our defensive front. Those guys were used to getting five and six yards on every dive play, mm -hmm. and they kind of wore us down a little bit toward the end of the game, no question. Um, but I thought, for the most part, our defensive front played pretty well. I thought we had a good defensive scheme, and, and but they're really good at executing, and that's why people run that offense. It's hard to defend. And uh, the last touchdown, we had a guy not do his job. 
you know, came down, tackled the dive, and should have quarterback. And so that's what that offense does to you. You've got to be perfect every time. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott and his staff do a great job offensively. Their quarterback, I really like that quarterback. He, he never makes mistakes. He always falls forward. You know, you, you come in, you tackle his, his knees, and he falls forward for two more yards. You know, and that's what their quarterbacks do. And so, uh, you know, they, they – they really executed well. I mean, if you look at it, I think we had three possessions in the first half. Mm -hmm. That's what that offense does to you. So what ends up happening is you end up putting a lot more pressure on yourself because you know you better score every time you touch it, or you're not going to have other opportunities. Again, I see a lot of a lot of things that we can fix, and you know when we get Jalen and Majesty back, that might help us a little bit too. Because we we were really hurt with depth at running back. Mm -hmm. And we were using Justin Curtis in there a little bit for, for some window dressing, but yeah, Jordan to good back now. I mean, he's if you look at those kids from Jacksonville that transferred, you got Ethan Hall, you got Jordan, you got uh, Matt Clements, and you got uh, nice. Jalen uh, Moses, and all four of those guys are making major contributions for us. But we still control our own destiny regardless. I was really worried about playing them the first game after they played a game mm -hmm. because they had a chance to knock the rust off, they had a chance for execution, they had a chance to go through all the COVID protocols. And so I really felt they should be ahead of us at that point. But I felt like if, if the score turned out the way it did, we still have a chance to control our own destiny as we go forward if we take care of our business and be 1-0 and each week. So it, you're exactly right. We have an opportunity to, to keep ourselves in the game if we continue to focus on what we definitely do that weekend.